You're watching the official Ski Dad TV review of Sun Valley, Idaho. I believe it. In 2023, I took my three and five year old boys and my wife on our family's first ever ski vacation. Stick around and hear a real Ski Dad's review of Sun Valley, Idaho, one of the premier resort destinations in North America. We have a sick condo this morning. This is the view. We're at the whole fam, Dylan, Acting like a wild man. And there's Bryce, another wild man. Mom is checking out the trail map. We are gonna have a heck of a time. Sun Valley is easily in the top three resorts I've ever skied. It goes Aspen, Deer Valley, Sun Valley, obviously. Stick around to hear how well the mountain shreds, how to ski it like a local, how to ski it with kids, and what I'll do differently as a ski dad next time. I've been skiing Sun Valley for the last 13 years, so I'm pretty familiar with it. But this is the first time I've gotten to do a free shred with a bunch of dudes who just happen to be locals. Tom! <laughs> hey! Easily one of my favorite things about Sun Valley is getting to ski with my buddy Taco. The ski that I'm probably on the most right now, I got some 192 Cochises from Scythe out of his garage. Ooh. Where else can you get this kind of chairlift chatter? The inside ski's only tracking so you doesn't ski up underneath the outside Yeah, ski. you gotta get it out of the way. In the words of the famous Rick Greener, skiing's just a series of linked recovery. The surface changed, I was really counting on uh, saving myself with some soft stuff. It was gone <laughs> soft. So for the morning shred with the dudes, we started out in the Challenger lift, which brings you all the way to the top of Warm Springs, which is a gigantic ride. Find something in the sun? Christmas, let's hit it. Then we skied Christmas Ridge, which was in the sun. The grooming was phenomenal. It's steep, it's in your face all the way down. We get to ski Middle Christmas Bowl, which was groomed. And then we took Gun Tower Lane over to Seattle Ridge, the green zone. We rode Seattle Ridge chair, then we came down Muffy's Metals, which is again, a green run. And we took some video there. My number one most favorite thing about Sun Valley is how steep it is. It's so consistently steep ever on the mountain that they need to call what would be blue runs at any other mountain, which is the Seattle Ridge area, their green zone. It just is what it is there. It's so steep that they gotta call blue runs greens. Now this steepness can be a blessing or a curse. In the morning, it's a blessing because when I'm out shredding with the guys, we want in your face steep stuff and we get it. In the afternoon for the family shred, Kind of a curse. And then we got to ski Lower Broadway, which was one of my favorite runs of the whole weekend. Rode the Broadway chair, got to the top of that. And then took the Roundhouse Slope, Mid-River Cat Track over to Lower Canyon, came down that. Excellent snow again there, super fun. Lookout Express to the top, where we skied Upper Limelight. Now this is a run where I tried to get James to video me. It totally kicked my ass. The Limelight Run is one of my absolute favorite runs all time ever. It's the steepest, most consistent, longest pitch I've ever been on. It's full stiv, every single turn, jump switches, pivot schmear, whatever you gotta do. There's no way to pump the top of the turn and it feels super sick. You can get your hip dragging all the time because the snow's so good on it and it was just tremendous. Unfortunately, I made a poor ski decision on this trip. A 2008 vocal mantra that I fully refurbished. And I'm out there in a ski that's freshly prepped. The base bevel is way too tight and I'm just surviving. That was rough. <laughs> it, I don't know, it humanized you a little bit, made me feel better. From there, we took I-80 over the top of Frenchman's. Now, this was probably the place where we encountered the most crowds of the trip. The crowds these days? No kidding. Holy cow, what is it, Saturday? It's Saturday morning at a premier ski resort. On <laughs> a sunny day. This is, I like this one because you get you get short leg, long leg. I like it. And then we skied the Graduate, which was another amazingly steep run. This was the first time down this run for me in Sun Valley. It was steep, it was awesome. Undergraduate, the lower half was actually really nice because it actually mellowed out. And it was one of the few places where I could really pump on the skis and felt really good about my turns. And then we took the Frenchman's lift up and took Pete's Lane, a cat track, over to Middle Limelight, which was off-piste conditions. Me and Taco skied the off-piste. 
I don't have any video of it, but it was fun. It was playful. The bumps are in really good shape at Sun Valley. Something about the pitch and the quality of skier there. The bumps always ski really good at Sun Valley. And then lower limelight was groomed, which was totally awesome. Here's some footage from that. That was some of my better shredding of the weekend. And then we got to ski Lower Warm Springs, which is just an all-time classic run to the bottom. And I should say that Lower Warm Springs, top to bottom, is one of my all-time favorite runs of any mountain I've ever been to. And I don't think there is a mountain out there that has a run that compares to that run. So that concludes the morning shred with the dudes. Uh, big shout out to Taco, Tom, and Steve for taking me out, showing me around. I give Sun Valley a shredding score, five stars out of five stars, 10 out of 10, two thumbs up, Sun Valley shredding, top notch. The views. The views at Sun Valley are absolutely spectacular. I don't think there's another North American resort that can contend with them. You're up high, you're on the tippy top of a pristine, white, beautiful mountain, and then you have these mountains out in the distance. Sun Valley views, can't beat them. Now it's time to bump over and go shred with the family. Oh, this is so What is that? <laughs> no, you don't think I look stupid? Now right out of the gate, I knew we were gonna have our hands full trying to ski the boys at a giant steep mountain like Sun Valley. However, my wife and I had visited there before, we wanted to go back there, and we got a free condo, so we were gonna make the best of it. Our game plan was to just break up all the runs into little segments, take a lot of breaks, maybe even stop and have a little lunch on the side of the hill and try and make it feel like we were doing a lot of runs just without any lift rides in between. Now, before I show you all the awesome footage, let's just be honest, there was a lot of this. Whoa, 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 nice. Oh, 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 oh. And a lot of this, and too much of this. Mom is carrying Dylan. Because our condo was on the warm spring side of Bald Mountain, our first chairlift ride with the family was up the Challenger lift. Now, once again, the Challenger lift goes up over 3,000 vertical feet, which is way too much for a three-year-old. Once we get to the top, Dylan's legs had fallen asleep. He had a little bit of a meltdown. We had to regroup with him, give him a little candy, and then we decided to take some pictures. Ski Dad tip, when you get to the top of a really good view place, the first opportunity you get, go and take pictures. The kids hate it, but mom loves it, and you gotta get it done. Once we were done taking pictures, it was time to go skiing. But there's no way you can ski a three-year-old off of the top of the Challenger lift, so we took the lookout lift all the way to the top of Bald Mountain and started there. From the top, we skied Bull Lane, which is a ridge top cat track with some of the most amazing, spectacular views you've ever seen. And then we got over to Broadway Face where Bryce might have been ripping, but my job as a ski dad was just getting started. There you go. How about the other one? Yeah, I'll do it. Let's but we're, we're skiing all the way down from here. We have 3,000 vertical ahead of us. Well, look at this guy straight lining, Bryce. Somehow, I need to convince Bryce that this isn't cool and that turns are the way to go. So I get into full cheerleading mode. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look out for this guy. Oh, oh, that was a good turn. Ooh. Look at that little, oh, I love that switch. Oh, that was sick. Oh, yeah, dude, nice. From there, we took the upper Broadway run, which was pretty good. Dylan got some pretty good energy on that one, hit some jumps. Whoa. We are literally halfway down our first run of Sun Valley. And then we get to Seattle Ridge where we took a break. Now, we had planned on actually skiing Seattle Ridge a little bit. You can see that these are, again, the green runs of Sun Valley. But there's also these little adventure zones, adventure zone number one, adventure zone number two. And I really wanted to get the kids in those. However, we couldn't because that lift was not running. Unfortunate. Snack time. Bryce is out of skis, leaning on a pole. Dylan. Get himself in this position. Mom is getting out candy. This is how you do it. Ooh, dancing man. We are only halfway down our first run of the day with the boys, and Amanda's already carried Dylan a fair amount. So we doped him up with sugar. Crazy. 
Something I have come to recognize in the boys is that you get a lot of progression out of them when you go somewhere new or try something different. You go on a vacation to the grandparents' house, you come home and they're potty trained. But this is a ski vacation. And some of the progression that we got out of the boys was actually before we even got to the ski hill. Dylan carried his own skis all the way across the patio. Bryce carried his own skis all the way from the condo to the snow. And despite my complaining, Dylan did step up in a huge way on this trip and really made some progress for himself. That was a huge fall. But the big winner on this trip was definitely Bryce and it came via the lower Broadway run. Once we got to lower Broadway, I was so fired up to get to ski with Bryce because I had skied it in the morning and knew how sick of a run it was going to be. Right out of the gate, you can see Bryce is feeling confident on it. It's a great pitch. You see he's got tons of speed, but it's mellow enough for him to have the confidence to really start carving the skis. Nice one. Oh, that was good. You can just see him improving turn by turn. Oh, that was a ripping turn. Ooh, I like that one. Full shred from Bryce. Look at these arcs. Yeah, buddy. That's good stuff, dude. Keep that going. Oh, who is this guy? Look at him sinking into it. Oh, yeah. Woo. Ah, just riding clean edges. I mean, come on. And then boom, side hits. Right into the side hits. Side hit scene at Sun Valley is decent. I actually don't think the little kids ski this mountain enough to make it great. It was fun. There was a lot of stuff for Bryce and I to do. All the while, he go and carve a little bit, hit a jump on the side. He loves it. You can tell. What do you think of Sun Valley, buddy? Good! <laughs> awesome run. That was super fun. All right, that was a sick run with Bryce. Um, some sick carving in there. Full reality check here. The difference between skiing with Bryce and Dylan is apparent. There's Dylan. Doing Dylan things. Because it's such a big mountain and the runs are so long and there's so many breaks in there that the gap of skiing with five-year-old Bryce and three-year-old Dylan turns into a six to eight minute wait at the bottom. There's not a run on the side of the hill that Dylan will not hit. This kid is a piece of work. Oh, he's gonna do it himself. Oh, he wants it this time. Here we go. Here's the whip. Knows Someone knows you? Who knows you? What a big skier you are, a stranger. A stranger knew you? Are you guys ready to go up the trail and do another run? Yeah. No. No, you don't want to do another ski run? Um, my dad found no grip. Use one hand to push yourself up and hold on to my paw oh. with the other. We eventually got Dylan off the ground and took the Broadway chair to the top where we took the roundhouse slope to Olympic Lane. Olympic Lane is a massive long green run. It must have been a mile and a half worth of skiing. From there we linked into Lower River Run, which if we had to ski Bald Mountain again, I would take them to Lower River Run because that's the best green beginner terrain for young kids at Bald Mountain. And then Lower River Run was sweet, and this is a place where it was good enough. I pulled out my phone, got a clip of Bryce. See, he's still accelerating. He's still improving. Still totally awesome day for him. Dylan. We took the Roundhouse Express gondola up, gave the kids some more candy, and then went into the Roundhouse restaurant thinking we were gonna get some lunch there. However, it turns out that was a sit down, fancy fondue kind of place, and we got the kids the hell out of there. It looked really sick, and Amanda and I agreed that someday we're gonna do two o'clock fondue out on that deck and drink some beers. From there, desperation was setting in. We had to take the Christmas lift to the top, and we finally made it to the lookout restaurant where we got lunch. The kids ate, we drank beers, the kids tried to throw me off the mountain, Amanda gave me a kiss. Highly recommend lookout restaurant. From there, it was time to ski another 3,000 vertical down to the bottom of Warm Springs. I'm gonna be straight up. I carried Dylan 70% down this Warm Springs side from the top. It was brutal. I would never recommend taking a three-year-old to the top and needing to ski down Warm Springs, ever. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Dylan did catch a second win because he finally got to do the little kid ski race he'd been dying to do all day. And I want to do a little kid ski race. Big shout out to my buddy Chuck who let the boys jump in the course on the race arena. They had a heck of a time and I think Dylan skied it really well. 
Look at him. He's above the gate. Parallel turns below the gate. Kid's crushing it. I'm psyched for him. Wait till he shows up at Sun Valley as you ate. He's going to crush him. Oh, let him rip, buddy. From the bottom of the race course, I picked Dylan up one more time and skied him to the bottom. The progression wasn't just from the kids. Amanda made progression on this vacation. Amanda has two extra ski straps in her pocket because she unstraps her skis and then doesn't put a strap on at the end of the day because it's too much to ask. And then I am out of ski straps on the tuning bench and now I find out she's got two in her pocket. And, and there's no wonder you have giant dings out of the sides of your skis. Huge chops that I had to clean up with a Panzer file. Look, a ski racer. You see that move right there? That's called squirrel. You dig yourself into a hole, and you just point something else out, and your wife doesn't even notice that you were racking on her too hard. You are strapping that ski like a big girl. Wow. Oh my goodness. This is what every ski dad dreams of. Glassy-eyed kids at the end of the day, and your wife popping a bottle of champagne in a sports bra. Cheers! Both kids were wiped out after this. It was so awesome. The official ski dad take on the Sun Valley nightlife scene? No idea. We ordered pizza in, which was the best thing ever. We didn't use the car for the whole day. Kids took a bath, fell asleep at night. Mama was happy. Perfect vacation. Day two, we made a better decision and we took the boys over to Dollar Mountain. Dollar is this sweet little mountain in downtown Ketchum, Idaho. It's got like five or six different lifts. It really has a mom and pop vibe in this beautiful Sun Valley setting. And there was all sorts of little features. There was a terrain park. There were these little brush gates set up. And Amanda and I felt comfortable just separating. She went over and skied with Dylan. I went over and skied with Bryce. And we were able to just let the kids be kids and ski around the mountain and explore. At the end of the day, the Family Shred and Bald Mountain was absolutely amazing. It was really fun to be out there with both boys. They really had a good time. But I'm telling you, it took a ton of effort and a ton of work from both Amanda and I. And maybe it wasn't the best strategic way to go about the vacation. If it had just been Bryce and I out there shredding, it could have been a lot better. Or if it just been Amanda and I out there shredding, it could have been a lot better. But there's absolutely no reason a three-year-old should be out on Bald Mountain. Don't make my mistake. Because it was a dreary day, the kids only get a few runs at Dollar. However, we went inside to this gorgeous lodge and they just ran around like crazy in the lodge and had the best time. And I got to sit inside and drink beers with Amanda and Taco. Well, Dollar Mountain was a huge success, even though we only did about three or four runs. All right, Bryce, Dollar Mountain Ski Review. What'd you think of this place? Well, kind of good, but I like some Valley better. Oh, but did you make maybe your best turns here? Well, not really. Like, I didn't do it fast. And we can do Ski Dad tip. If you go to Sun Valley, Idaho, take your kids a dollar. Dylan, what did you think of Dollar Mountain? That guy's running around. That's going to do it for this episode of Ski Dad TV. Keep shredding out there. It's really sunny at Sun Valley.